Hello friends. Now today we will start the new topics increasing and the decreasing function. Increasing functions. Definition a function f is said to be monotonically or strictly increasing function on an interval a b if for any x1 comma x2 belongs to open interval a b with if x1 is less than x2 we have f of x1 is less than f of x2 and f dash of x is a greater than or equal to 0. Now in this figure this is the curve and the values of f of x1 values of x1 and x2. The value of f of x2 is a greater than f of x1 and x2 is also greater than f of x1 and the given function is a increasing function. Now what about the decreasing function? Now in this case the function f is said to be monotonically that is a strictly decreasing function on an interval a b if for any x1 comma x2 belongs to open interval with if that is x1 is less than x2. Now see this here x1 and here is x2. x1 is less than x2 but what is happening here f of x1 is a greater than f of x2. The value of f of x1 is a greater than f of x2 and f dash of x is a less than or equal to 0 then the given function is a decreasing function. Now we will see this again here. Increasing and the decreasing functions. Increasing function. Definition. A function f is said to be monotonically or strictly increasing function on an interval a b open interval a b If for any x1, comma x2 belongs to open interval a b with if x1 is less than x2, we have f of x1 is less than f of x2. And f dash of x is a greater than or equal to 0. Now in this case the given function is a increasing. There is a, a value of x1 and x2. x1 is a greater x2 is a greater than x1. Next decreasing function. definition a function f is said to be monotonically that is a strictly decreasing function on an interval a b if for any x1 comma x2 belongs to open interval a b with x1 is less than 
x2 we have f of x1 is greater than f of x2 and f dash of x is less than or equal to 0 then the given function is said to be decreasing now the illustrative examples now see this first example show that the function f of x is equals to x cube plus 10x plus 7 for all x belongs to set of real number is a strictly increasing now we have given the function f of x is equals to x cube plus 10x plus 7 differentiate this with respect to x its a derivative is 3x square plus 10 now here 3x square is a greater than or equal to 0 for all x belongs to set of real number and 10 is a greater than 0 it's a clear that 3x square plus 10 is a greater than 0 that is f dash of x is a strictly greater than 0 therefore the given function is a monotonically increasing or a strictly increasing Now see this again here. Show that the function f of x is equals to x cube plus 10x plus 7. For x belongs to set of real number is strictly increasing that is we have given that f of x is equals to x cube plus 10x plus 7. Now differentiate this with respect to x f dash of x is equals to 3x square plus 10. Now here 3x square is a greater than or equal to 0 for all x belongs to set of real number and 10 is a greater than 0 it's strictly the positive number. 3x square plus 10 is a strictly greater than 0 it implies that f dash of x is a strictly greater than 0 and hence the given function is a monotonically or strictly increasing function. Now the next problem is test whether the function f of x is equal to x cube plus 6x square plus 12x minus 5 is increasing or decreasing for all x belongs to set of real number. Given that f of x is equal to x cube plus 6x square plus 12x minus 5. Now we have given this function f of x is equal to x cube plus 6x square plus 12x minus 5. Now differentiate this with respect to x. f dash of x is equal to 3x square plus 12x plus 12. Take 3 as common then in bracket you will get x square plus 4x plus 4. Now it is a perfect square of x plus 2 bracket square. Therefore f dash of x is equal to 3 in bracket x plus 2 bracket square. Now 3 in bracket x plus 2 bracket square is always positive or x is not equals to minus 2. f dash of x is a greater than or equal to 0 for all x belongs to set of real number. Hence f of x is a increasing function for all x belongs to set of real number. Let's see this again here. Test whether The function x cube plus 6x square plus 12x minus 5 is increasing or decreasing function for all x belongs to set of real number. Now we are given that f of x is equal to x cube plus 6x square plus 12x minus 5. Now differentiate this with respect to x. f dash of x is equal to 3x square plus 12x plus 12. 
that if you take the 3 as common then in bracket you will get x square plus 4x plus 4 that is f dash of x is equals to 3 in bracket x plus 2 bracket square. Now 3 in bracket x plus 2 bracket square is uh, always positive for x is not equal to minus 2 and f dash of x is greater than or equal to 0 for all x belongs to set of real number. Hence f of x is an increasing function. For all x belongs to set of real number. Now the next is find the values of x for which the function f of x is equals to x cube plus 12x plus 36 plus 6 is monotonically increasing, monotonically decreasing. Now this is the function f of x is equals to x cube plus 12x square plus 36x plus 6. Now differentiate this with respect to x f dash of x is equals to 3x square plus 24x plus 36. Take 3 as common then in bracket you will get x square plus 8x plus 12. Then factorize this that is a x plus 2 into x plus 6. That is f dash of x is equals to 3 in bracket x plus 2 into x plus 6. f of x is a monotonic increasing if f dash of x is a greater than 0. Now x must be greater than 0 that is a 3 in bracket x plus 2 into x plus 6 is greater than 0. For that either both of them must be negative or the positive. That either x plus 2 is a less than 0 and x plus 6 is a less than 0 or x plus 2 is a greater than 0 and x plus 6 is a greater than 0. In first case x plus 2 is a less than 0 and x plus 6 is less than 0. That is x is less than minus 2 and x is less than minus 6. Thus for Every x is less than minus 6, x plus 2 into x plus 6 is greater than 0. Yes, it is clear that whenever x is a negative, this will be the negative and the negative. And negative into negative, that it become positive. And it is greater than 0. And hence, f is a monotonically increasing. This is the first case. When we consider x plus 2 is less than 0 and x plus 6 is less than 0. Now, in second case, if both of them are positive, that x plus 2 is greater than 0 and x plus 6 is greater than 0. That is x is a, it's that x is a greater than minus 2 and x is a greater than minus 6. For every x is a greater than minus 2, x plus 2 into x plus 6 is a greater than 0. And f is a monotonically increasing. From case 1 and 2, f is a monotonically increasing if and only if x is a less than minus 6 or x is a greater than minus 2 and hence x belongs to the open interval that is the infinity to minus 6 or x belongs to minus 2 to infinity it implies that f is a monotonically increasing. Now next is suppose that f of x is said to be monotonically decreasing that is if it happens then f dash of x is a less than 0. That is a 3 in bracket x plus 2 into x plus 6 is less than 0. That is x plus 2 into x plus 6 is a less than 0 means what? One of them is positive and other is negative and vice versa. Then either x plus 2 is a less than 0 and x plus 6 is a greater than 0 or x plus 2 is a greater than 0 and x plus 6 is less than 0. Now in first case x plus 2 is a less than 0 and x plus 2 is a greater than 0. It means that x is a less than minus 2 and x is a greater than minus 6. Thus for x belongs to the open interval minus 6 to minus 2 f is a monotonically decreasing. Now in second case that is a x plus 2 is a greater than 0 and x plus 6 is a less than 0 then what will happen? In one case, if say that x is a greater than minus 2, if we add minus 2 on both sides, then you will get x is a greater than minus 2. And in another case, another case, if we solve this, that is if we add minus 6 on both sides, 
then x is less than minus 6. Once you say that x is greater than minus 2 and another way you say that x is less than minus 6. Therefore, this case does not exist. Now, you can see this example. That is example number 3. Find the values of x for which the function f of x is equals to x cube plus 12 x square plus 36 x plus 6 is monotonically increasing second monotonically decreasing that is a strictly increasing and the strictly decreasing given that f of x is equals to x cube plus 12 x square plus 36 x plus 6. Now differentiate this with respect to x. f dash of x is equals to 3x square plus 24x plus 36. Take 3 as common, then in bracket you will get x square plus 8x plus 12. f dash of x is equals to 3 in bracket x plus 2 in another bracket x plus 6. Now, in first case, f of x is a monotonically increasing if f dash of x is a greater than 0, that is 3 in bracket x plus 2 into x plus 6 is greater than 0. That is x plus 2 into x plus 6 is greater than 0. Then either x plus 2 is less than 0. That is the both of them must be negative and both of them must be the positive. x plus 6 is less than 0 or x plus 2 is greater than 0 and x plus 6 is greater than 0. That is case 1. x plus 2 is less than 0 and x plus 6 is less than 6. Therefore, x is less than minus 2 and x is less than minus 6. Then, thus, for every x is less than, whatever the lowest, the lowest is x is less than minus 6. Therefore, x plus 2 into x plus 6 is a positive. Just it just the cool. Kiti lan by j to the sa minus six pixelan by j and jeto positive in a pella doni bracket. Hence f is a monotonically increasing now case two x plus two is a positive and x plus six that is also positive. Now x is greater than minus 2, it is solid and x is greater than minus 6. If you add plus 2 for the first and minus 6 for the second, then you will get x is greater than minus 2 and x is greater than minus 6. For every x is greater than minus 2, x plus 2 into x plus 6 is a positive that is a greater than 0 and f is a monotonically increasing therefore from case 1 and case 2 f is a monotonically increasing 
if and only if x is a less than minus 6 or x is a greater than minus 2. Hence, x belongs to minus infinity to minus 6 or x belongs to minus 2 to infinity. It implies that f is a monotonically increasing, that is, f is a strictly increasing function. Second, f is said to be monotonically decreasing if f dash of x is a less than 0 that is a 3 in bracket x plus 2 into x plus 6 is less than 0 x plus 2 into x plus 6 is less than 0 then either x plus 2 is less than 0 or that is both product of these two terms negative means one is positive and another is negative in this case x plus 2 is a negative and x plus 6 is a positive or x plus 2 is a positive and x plus 6 is a negative now in first case x plus 2 is a less than 0 and x plus 6 is a greater than 0 that x is less than minus 2 and x is a greater than minus 6 thus for x belongs to minus 6 to minus 2 f is a monotonically decreasing that is in mid between that is x belongs to minus 6 to minus 2 in second case if x plus 2 is a greater than 0 and x plus 6 is a less than 0 x is a greater than minus 2 and x is a less than minus 6 if you solve it this case does not exist once he said that x is greater than minus 2 in another case he said that x is less than minus 6 this is not possible now we'll see the next topic says that is now see this here maxima and minima a function f of x has a maxima at x is equals to c if f dash of c is equals to 0 and f double dash of c is less than 0. Maxima at a consider the slope of the tangents. The slope of L1, now see this line, this is the curve. The slope of tangent L1, that is a positive. Slope of L2 is a negative because it is a parallel to this x axis. And the L3, it makes an obtuse angle with the positive direction of the x-axis. And its a slope is negative. Thus, the slope is seen to be decreasing as there is maxima at A. First is positive, then 0, then negative. L1 is positive, slope of line L2 is a 0 and L3 is negative. When this happens, that the function is said to be maxima at the point A. Now next is, see this curve. Again see this line L1, L2 and L3. Now L1 makes an obtuse angle with the x-axis. The slope of L1 is a negative, L2 is 0 and L3 makes an acute angle with the x-axis, its slope is positive. A function f of x has minima at x is equals to c if f dash of c is 0, its a first derivative is 0 and f double dash of c is a less than 0. This is the condition that is a minima now in this case here 
at a consider the slope l1 is a negative l2 is a positive and l3 is again the positive thus the slope is a seen to be increasing if there is a this happen then it is a minima at a now in this case the slope is decreasing then it is a maximum in this case slope is increasing then it is a minimum now we'll see the example what is the example the first example a wire of the length 120 centimeter is bent in the form of a rectangle find the dimensions if the area of the rectangle is a maximum let x be x centimeter and the y centimeter be the length and the breadth of rectangle the perimeter of the rectangle that's we have given that's the 120 centimeter that's the 2 in bracket x plus y is equals to 120 therefore x plus y is equals to 60 y is equals to 60 minus x let a be the area of the rectangle find the dimensions of the area find its a dimensions if the area is a maximum what we are considering here we are considering the area therefore we want to find out the area of that rectangle that a is equals to x into y that is x into 60 minus x and that is equal to 60 x minus x square this is the area capital a is equals to 60 x minus x square now differentiate this with respect to x then what will happen if we differentiate this then the da upon dx is equals to 60 minus 2x this is equation number 2 for the maxima that is the da upon dx is equals to 0 the first derivative that is equals to 0 that is a 60 minus 2x is equals to 0 x is equals to 30 and if you differentiate this then you will get d2a upon dx square is equals to minus 2 this is the second order derivative test if the derivative is a negative then the area is maximum if the derivative is a positive then the area is a negative now we get d2a upon dx square is a negative therefore at x is equals to 30 from 3 we have d2a upon dx square is a minus 2 which is less than 0 therefore the area is a maximum at x is equals to 30 the area of the rectangle is maximum put x is equals to 30 in equation number 1 where is equation number 1 this is the equation number 1 if we substitute x is equals to 30 then you will get y is equals to 30 therefore the area of the rectangle is a maximum if length is equals to breadth is equals to 30 centimeter now we'll see this again here maxima and minima now see this again the curve l1 l2 and l3 A function f of x has maxima at x is equals to c. It's a maximum value. You see this here at this point. f dash of c is equals to 0 because this line is parallel to x axis. f double dash of c is a negative. Maxima at A consider the slopes of the tangents slope of L1 is positive slope of L2 is a 0 which is parallel to x axis and slope of L3 is negative. Thus, the slope is seen to be decreasing. 
if there is maximum at a now next is now see this figure in this figure again this is the curve this is the line l1 which slope is a negative if we extend this it's a obtuse angle next l2 is a parallel to x axis its slope is zero and what about the l3 it's makes an acute angle its a slope is positive a function f of x has a maximum minima at x is equals to c if f dash of c is equals to zero and f double dash of c is negative that is uh, for the maxima now we will see the minima figure ubar gele mule consider the slope of the tangents l1 is a negative l2 is zero and l3 is a positive thus the slope is seen to be increasing if there is minima at x is equal to a at a now the illustrative example now the illustrative example a wire of length 120 cm is bent in the form of a rectangle i am repeating all the examples two times so that you will get the revision of that example find its a dimensions if the area of rectangle is maximum let x centimeter and y centimeter be the length of length and the breadth of rectangle perimeter of rectangle is equals to 120 cm therefore 2 in bracket x plus y is equals to 120 and x plus y is equals to 60 therefore y is equals to 60 minus x this is of course now a to b a be the area of the rectangle a is equals to x into y That is equals to x into 60 minus x is equals to 60x minus x square. Therefore, a is equals to 60x minus x square. Now differentiate this with respect to x. Da upon dx is equals to 60 minus 2x. This is number two. For maximum. that is we will find out the value of x 
for that dA upon dx is equals to 0. That is 60 minus 2x is equals to 0 and therefore the value of x is equals to 30. Now differentiate the question number 2 with respect to x. And if we differentiate that is the d2a upon dx square then you will get minus 2 which is negative and this is the condition for the maxima which is negative therefore for x is equals to 30 from 3 we get d2a upon dx square that is minus 2 which is less than 0 when x is equals to 30 a is area of a rectangle is maximum put x is equals to 30 in 1 we get y is equals to 60 minus 30 that is equals to 30 that is area of the rectangle is maximum at these two values that is a length and breadth both are equal the same same as the area the maximum as now now the next problem we will see this here i am repeating here from first of all whatever that i had written on the board then i will show the next one that is question number two rectangular sheet of paper has its area 24 square meters. The margins at the top and the bottom are 75 centimeter each and at the sides of 50 centimeter each. That is the top and the bottom that is 75 and the sides are 50 centimeter each. What are the dimensions of the paper? If the area of the printed space is a maximum, this will be required that is the maximum. Now see this here. Let x be x meter and the y meter. Be it the width and the length of the rectangle. This is the length and this is the width, respectively. It's a area that is 24 square meter. Now in this case, let us see this here, x into y is equals to 24 and y is equals to 24 upon x. I have given that area. Therefore, after leaving the margins length of the printing space, that is a x minus 1 meter and that is the breadth of the printing area that is a y minus 1.5 now how this is the minus 1 this is a 50 centimeter again 50 50 plus 50 that is a 1 meter therefore x minus 1 is here and what about its uh, y that is a width is 75 and the 75 it becomes 1.5 meter therefore y minus 1.5 meter let A be the area of the printing that is capital A is equals to x minus 1 into y minus 1.5 that is equals to x minus 1 into 24 upon x minus 1.5 that is this is the value of y the value of y is 24 upon x and if you evaluate this then you will get that is a 24 minus 1.5x minus 24 upon x plus 1.5. Now this is the area. Now differentiate this. That is you will get. This is a 24 plus 1.5. That is a 25.5 minus 1.5x minus 24 upon x. Now differentiate this with respect to x. dA upon dx minus 1.5 and minus 24 upon x that is a 24 upon x square 
for maximum printing space dA upon dx is equals to 0. Therefore, that is it. It's not the maximum, but when we want to find out the values of the variable, we differentiate it and equals to 0. Now here minus 15 plus 24 upon x square that is equals to 0. Then you will get that is a 1.5 plus 24 upon x square that is equals to 0. 1.5 x square if you simplify it then you will get 1.5 x square is equals to 24. That is x square is equals to that is a 24 upon 1.5 that is 3 by 2 which is nothing but the x square is equals to 16. Therefore, x is equals to plus or minus 4. Cannot take x is equals to minus 4. That is the linear length is not negative. Therefore, x is equals to 4. Now, differentiate this 3 with respect to x. D2a by dx square. Then, this is the dA upon dx. Now, if we differentiate this, then you will get minus 48 upon x square. This is 1 upon x and its derivative is a minus 1 upon x square. That is a d2a upon dx square is a minus 48 upon x square. Now d2a upon dx square at x is equals to 4. It is negative. Hence that is when x is equals to 4 the area of the rectangle printing space is a maximum. Put x is equals to 4 in equation number 1. We get y is equals to 24 upon 4 that is equals to 6. Therefore, the area of the printing space is a maximum width when the that is the width of the printing space is a 4 meter and the length of the printing space is a 6 meter. These are the values. Now, see this again here. Yes. A rectangular sheet of paper had its area 24 square meters the margin at the top and the bottom are 75 centimeter each for the top and to the bottom top and bottom that is 75 and to the side left and right side it is a 50 centimeter each what are the dimensions What are the dimensions? Of the paper if area of the printed space is maximum. Now see this figure. Let capital let x and y x meter and y meter be the width and the length of a rectangular sheet of paper respectively area of the paper is equals to 24 square meter now the margins are in centimeter 
and then we will convert in the meter. That x y is equals to 24. Therefore, y is equals to 24 upon x. This is equation number one. After leaving the margins, the length of the Printing space is x minus 1 meter and breadth of the printing space that is 75 centimeter plus 75 centimeter that is 150 centimeter which makes 1.5 meter. And the side 50 centimeter, 50 centimeter, it becomes 1 meter. Let A be the area of the printing space that is x minus 1 into y minus 1.5. X minus 1 substitute the value of Y which is 24 upon X minus 1.5. Now evaluate this. That is a 24 minus 1.5 X minus 24 upon X plus 1.5. Plus that is if we make the product then area is equals to 25.5 minus 1.5 x minus 24 upon x this is equation number 2 now differentiate this with respect to x da upon dx is equals to minus 1.5 x and derivative of 1 upon x is that way minus 1 upon x is 1 upon x square. Now for maxima, for maximum printing space, we will find out the values of x. That is first da upon dx is equals to 0. That is the minus 1.5x plus 24 upon x square which is equals to 0. That is 1.5x minus 1.5 plus 24 upon x square is equals to 0 that is minus 1.5 x square is equals to 24 therefore x square is equals to 24 upon 1.5 that is a Twenty four upon three by two, twenty four upon one into two by three. Therefore, x square is equals to sixteen, x is equals to plus or minus four. X is equals to four. This is not equals to minus four, then it is not negative. Now differentiate, that is the third equation. D2A upon dx square is equals to minus 48 upon x square. Therefore, for x is equals to 4. That second derivative overall is a negative. From 4 we get d2a upon dx square minus 48 upon 4 square which is negative. When x is equals to 4.
area of the rectangular printing space is maximum put x is equals to 4 in 1 we get y is equals to 24 upon 4 that is equals to 6 therefore area of printing space is maximum when width of printing space that is a 4 meter and length of the printing space is a that is a 6 meter next is that is a fourth problem before that we will see here first an open box is to be cut out of the piece of the square card of side 18 centimeter by cutting of equal squares from the corners and turning up the sides find the maximum volume of the box now see this here each side is cut by x let the side of each the small squares cut by x centimeter so that each side of the box to be made is 18 minus 2x this is the 18 minus 2x because x and x 18 minus 2x and the height if you fold that then you will get the height is x centimeter now the v be the volume of the box therefore area of the base what will the area area of the base this is the 18 minus x this will be the area of the base what is the height if you fold this in upward direction then you will get the height of that box that is 18 minus 2x bracket square into x and if you expand this then you will get that is a 324 minus 72x plus 4x square into x and this is the volume now differentiate this with respect to x that is a 12x square minus 144x plus 324 now for the maximum first of all we will find out that is a derivative that is a dv upon dx is equals to 0 that is our 12x square minus 144x plus 324 is equal to 0. Now divide on the both sides by 12. Then you will get x square minus 12x plus 27 is equal to 0. Now in first bracket x minus 3. If x minus 9 that is equal to 0. Therefore x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 9. But x is equal to 9 is not possible. If we cut on both sides then there will be no card will be there. And therefore x we take the x is equals to 3 now differentiate this again with respect to x that is the d2v upon dx square then you will get the derivative of this is a 24x minus 144 now this is a 24x minus 144 if you substitute x is equals to 3 x is equals to 
and that is the 2 by mistake here is a 2 that is a 24 into 3 that is a minus 144 and overall you will get minus 72 which is less than 0 therefore the volume of the box is a maximum when x is equals to 3 now the maximum what is the maximum volume the maximum volume is if we substitute the value that is a 18 minus 6 bracket square into 3 now what about here the to find out its a volume that is a 18 minus 2x bracket square the value of x is 3 that is a 18 minus 6 bracket square into 3 therefore 18 minus 6 bracket square into 3 that is a 12 square into 3 that is 144 into 3 that is a 432 which is a cubic centimeter and this is the volume now again we will see here an open box is to be cut out of the piece of square cardboard of the side 18 centimeter By the cutting equal squares from the corners and turning up the sides, find the maximum volume. Now see this in this figure, which is the 18 centimeter. For four corners, that is x centimeter is cut. Let the side of each of the small squares cut by x centimeter so that each side of the box to be made is 18 minus 2x centimeter and the height is x centimeter let v be the volume of the box v is equals to area of the box area of the base of the box into height v is equals to 18 minus 2x i am taking all the solved examples because these examples asked in the board exam also the cet exam that is v is equals to 18 minus 2x bracket square into x if we evaluate this you will get 324 minus 72x plus 4x square into x that is a 4x cube minus 72x square plus 324x this is equation number 1 now differentiate this with respect to x that is a dv upon d dv upon dx by mistake is i think that there is a dt dv upon dx is there 
that is a 12x square minus One forty four x plus three twenty four for the maximum volume dB upon dx is equals to zero. That is a twelve x square minus one forty four x plus three twenty four is equals to zero. X square minus twelve x plus twenty seven is equals to zero. If we factorize it, then you will get x minus three in first bracket, second bracket x minus nine is equals to zero. Therefore, x minus three is equals to zero, or x minus nine is equals to zero. X is equals to three, but x is equals to nine is not possible. If you cut on both sides by nine nine, then there will be no cardboard. If x is Uh, not equal. That is, x is not equal to nine. Therefore, x is equal to three. Now, differentiate second equation with respect to x d two v upon d x square is equal to twenty four x minus one forty four. For x is equal to three. From three, we get d two v upon d x square. That x is equal to three. Again, here is a mistake. The mistake I have written here. Here is a three. That is a twenty four into three minus one forty four. That is a minus seventy two, which is a less than zero. The volume. Next, we get the condition for the maximum. The volume of the box is a maximum because the second derivative by using the second derivative test it is a negative and that's why it's a maximum when x is equals to three. Maximum volume of the box. Eighteen minus six bracket square because eighteen minus two x bracket square x is equal to three therefore it becomes six that is a twelve square into three that is one forty four into three that is equal to Three forty-two cubic centimeter, and in this way we have completed these examples or examples. The remaining examples will be in the next video. Till then, goodbye.